Hey, I'm Adam, part of the Teams team here at Microsoft. This week, I'm actually really excited to feature an app that I use all the time to save time by streamlining my tasks and my workflows. And that app is Power Automate. Power Automate helps you create automated workflows to save you time. And on our team, we've set up notifications that send a team chat to a project owner whenever anyone completes our social ideas form. And don't worry, if you've never automated a workflow, there are several popular Teams templates to help you get started. Now, before we get started, just like with every other app, start by searching for, downloading, and setting it up through the Teams App Store. With Teams open, go to the left side rail and click the apps icon. And if you don't see any apps here, check in with your IT admin. Using the store search bar, type in Power Automate. Click the Power Automate icon to open the installation page. And if you haven't added the app to Teams yet, then just click Add. If you'll be using the app often, be sure to pin it so you don't have to search for it next time. So we've installed the app, and now we're looking at the personal homepage where all your future flows will be. You can see which teams and channels they'll be used in, and those popular templates I mentioned earlier. The Create tab is where you can start a flow from a template or create custom flows via the Create From Blank button. In the Chat tab, you'll see all notifications on flows that have run and even chat with a bot to ask questions or find more info. The Approvals tab links you to the Approvals app. And lastly, the Business Process Flows tab is where you'll find any flows that you've created for specific business processes like Dynamics 365 leads. All right, so let's have some fun and configure a workflow together. Power Automate has helped me streamline high volume routine tasks in my day so I can focus on other things. I manage an ever-growing set of projects and it's hard to keep up with introducing all the new team members to the full team. So why not create a flow for that? From the Create tab, we can build out this new flow. Search or scroll through the templates to find the welcome new team members and share their bio template. And yep, that's it. All right, change the name or choose not to. And double check that you're signed into all the accounts or apps that you'll be using for this flow. Now choose it and click which team to monitor, which team to post to, and which channel to post to. And then click create flow. A pop-up will confirm that your workflow is created. Manage your workflow opens the flow, or you can also hit done, then go back to the home tab. Here we see the details, the connections, the owners, and the history of the flow. Up top, we can choose to share it with others, save or delete it, turn it off and on, and much more. Okay, but let's get nerdy, take a little bit of a closer look at the ins and outs of the flow itself by selecting edit. Now we're looking at the flow and the decision tree, essentially all the steps that happen automatically each time the flow runs. Okay, this is cool. Clicking and expanding each of these, we see the guts of the data, the inputs and outputs, and everything in between. I can even customize it if I want to. Say, editing the welcome message prompt to, we're so excited to have you on the team. Tell us a little bit about yourself. And I could add some additional actions if I wanted to. My favorite part about these templates is that while this one was made for welcoming new team members, I could of course repurpose it to other scenarios. Now, when I add new team members to the team, they get this automatic message and be able to respond to share info about themselves. And that will all be automatically posted to the Teams channel. All right, it's really fun to build one from the ground up. Experiment with it and even debug it when you have errors. You can create really powerful flows for several different scenarios for you and your team. Okay, of course, be sure to share how you're using flows with Power Automate and Teams so we can try it out and also share it out with the community.